Hey guys, um, this is going to be another update video. Um, this is going to be an update on a few things, but we're going to start with uh, these guys right here. You can see these are my two Saharan Euromastics. I don't know what the plural for Euromastics is, but yeah. Um, this is a 40 gallon breeder tank. Um, yeah, and this is granite. I've had granite for a long time, a couple years now, and she's just been solo. Um, but yeah, but this is a new addition. Recently bought it. Um, his name's Jack, and he is a red Saharan, so same species, just a different color morph, um, and female, male, um, and yeah. So this is them, you can see they have just sand, and they have two bulbs on them. Um, their basking temp is currently 115 degrees, and yeah, I have a halogen bulb right here for extra heat and extra light, and right here, I have a Zoomed Power Sun Mercury Vapor Bulb. That's a very great bulb. It's fantastic. You see, Granite's just as active as she always is. There has been no problems, knock on wood, um, about with these two. Um, and yeah, I, I'm hoping there won't ever be. And um, I'm not really planning to breed, but uh, it would be cool if that would happen. But I know there's like a light cycle and other situations you have to control in order to induce breeding in these guys. But um, if it would, if it were to just happen, it would be really cool. But, yeah, I just got them because, you know, I really like your mastics. I'm just, again, I don't know what the plural for those is, but, yeah. So, yeah, that's the update with these guys, and, um, moving on. Next is going to be on my new frill dragon enclosure, which you see right here. Um, yeah, it's not meant to be pretty, but it's meant to be very functional, and it is. Um, but, yeah, so, you can see, there is my frill dragon, Drake. And this is a 24 by 24 by 6 foot. Uh, I think it's 6 foot. It might be a little more than that. But yeah, 6 foot cage. Um, so yeah. So that's it. Um, this is a screen top we made for a cage that we had a while back. It was my iguana's smaller cage. And yeah, we just turned it into a door, because why not? And yeah, you can see he thinks I'm going to feed him. Let's see if we'll throw off for the camera. And kind of. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty calm, but he just doesn't like new objects. Um, but yeah, so this plant is a live plant. It is from New Caledonia, where crested geckos and gargoyle geckos are from. It's an island. But yeah, so this plant is from New Caledonia. It's really awesome. Um, he loves it, uh, Drake. He can climb in it. It's it's just it's a cool looking plant, and it keeps the humidity up. And down here, I have cypress mulch, and then we have a ledge here for his feeding dish, and yeah, a vine for his lights. And up there, I have a seventy-five watt basking light and two UV lights. And yeah, um, just a tip for new reptile owners that are watching this video, um, UV only penetrates so deep. I think it's 18 to 24 inches, but um, yeah, so um, I would put more than one UV light on if you have a very tall cage, and it still won't get to the bottom, especially if you have a big plant blocking away, but yeah. Um, I like this plant and the way it is around this ledge. Because it makes him feel, at least I, I would think so, that it makes him feel like he's up in a canopy. And yeah, he does come down here to chase crickets, but he never comes down to the bottom to just, you know, just to go to the bottom. But yeah, so that's this tank. Um, it Again, it's not meant to be very pretty, and it's not. You can see it's got a, like that stamp right there and stuff, but uh, I didn't want to stain it. Because we've stained a lot of our stuff, and it just never ends up looking good for very long. So I'm, I was just, I just left it um, the regular pine. And yeah, you, uh, same type of screening that he had in this cage right here, which was his, one of his original cages that he was in for a while, which is now a veiled chameleon cage. But yeah, same type of screen is just a lot bigger. But the top we do have a more industrious type of screening that crickets like to crawl out of and I have to catch them and throw them back in but yeah um, it just it holds the lights and it's not gonna bend or anything which is really nice um, and yeah that is about it for uh, for now um, yeah that's
and that's it. So, um, thanks for watching, you guys. Oh, and one last thing about my um, name change. Um, some of my subscribers, you might have noticed that I changed it from Rectic Jungles, which I really didn't like much. It sounded kind of corny, I guess. It just it didn't sound too good to Herp Zone. And um, Herp Zone, I think, is good because it um, encompasses all of the animals I keep, not just the reptiles, but also like the frogs and stuff. So. And the newts. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's on the name change. Um, and yeah, so thanks for subscribing, you guys. I'm almost at 200, which is amazing. Um, 30,000 something views. I, I, I can't thank you guys enough. And yeah, just uh, thanks for watching my videos. And don't forget to like and comment. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.